doing a... <laughs> We're doing a tier list of the of juggling films. We're doing a tier list of a bunch of juggling films. Like, you know, like Wes Beaton. He's kind of the guy who, like, really started that, that whole trend. And because of that, he's half of this uh, list. Not that many people make videos like this. There's only under, like, 40 total out there. Yeah. Make more, I guess. Make more. I, I wish people would make more. Uh, maybe I'll talk about that in the end. Do you yeah. want to explain the, yeah. like... Yeah, I mean, uh, I tried not to do anything. Well, there isn't anything on this list that is under 20 minutes. Um, that's one thing. Um, and typically, I went for things that had a trailer that really had, like, a moment where, like, a person was like, I made this thing. Now click on this other link to go check it out. Not videos, like, um, where people just post it on YouTube and they're like, I just made this video, check it out. Like, it almost, like, it feels like it has like, a formality to it, like... <clears throat> This person made this thing, and yeah. they want to present it. And uh, there's another thing about all of these, which is they all have trick sections where they go through different kinds of tricks with different kinds of props, um, all really based off of, almost all of them based off of Wes Peden films. Yeah, um, he really started so, the genre. Yeah, he's, he's, the, he's the guy. So <laughs> he's the guy. He's the guy. Um, I tried to make it like the most prolific people. Yeah. In, like, one list of, so like, jugglers who have, like, been in the public eye of juggling for a while and who know, like, people know about them. I don't want to just find, like, somebody who, uh, I'm just, like, exposing them <laughs> <laughs> or whatever, you know? So, uh, These I are tried relatively to... well known jugglers. Yeah, relatively yeah. well known. And I think that's it. Start with a. Let's start with Gumball. Gumby. Gumball. Gumby. Okay, so Gumball is <laughs> Wes Peden's longest juggling film that he's made. It's like, um, it's basically an hour. And, and most recent 20 minute plus juggling film. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah, do you have any, any, yeah. any thoughts on this one? I, to me, it stands out as his most diverse juggling film in like scene and setting and also just a decoration and style i feel like he really went um he went all out in those things it's almost like funny that you say that because he didn't really go to as many places for this video almost all, like 80 percent mm. of all of it is in a racquetball court, but, but, but like or something like that i don't know <laughs> but he talks about that yeah uh and uh it's it's interesting that like he's able to use all these like whatever's to like make an interesting visual. Whatever's? Yeah, whatever. Decoration. Tape, Decor balloons. Decoration, balloons, whatever. I don't know. Um, My favorite section is definitely the like the fake trick or the funny trick section. Yeah. Where he edits a lot of the tricks and does a lot of uh, like intentionally stupid yeah. or silly things. Yeah, the there's really great. There's a lot of intentionally silly, stupid things in this uh, one, and uh, you know I think it is a little bit long. It's hard for me to sit through the whole thing in one sitting. Mm. Uh, I don't know if you feel the same way, but uh, yeah. yeah, I mean, it's it's a lot to take in. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff. Maybe it's maybe there's just more content. Maybe that's why it seems so diverse. Maybe there's just yeah. like a lot of there there. Yeah, it's like fifteen. <laughs> it's like fifteen to twenty minutes more than Throw Joy. Yeah, right. Which is a whole nother film on its own yeah and there's so, also a lot of like outside material brought in there's yeah. a lot of splicing from you know how-to videos and, like, and tv shows and yeah. lots of other material if i were to put this somewhere on the list in terms of how much i enjoyed it whenever it first came out mm. um and like how much it impacted me in comparison to all of the other things i would probably i would probably put it probably put it in like a or b tier mm. i'm not sure which though uh, do you do you have any thoughts on that? Maybe we put it we put it smack dab in the middle for now, and we can move it higher if more of his stuff is yeah, yeah. is worse oh, yeah. or <laughs> lower is yeah. worse. Kind yeah, of like, or, <laughs> like I'm judging with <laughs> Yeah, no, I don't. Okay, um, that's fair. Just to save it, yeah. for save his higher rankings for for sure the other material that you like more. Um, let's talk about to be the best three. 
Mm. So you you watched this with me a long like couple years ago. Yeah. We watched this like together in like yeah. a group. Um and uh, there's really not too much to say about it other than it's like an over an hour of crazy juggling tricks by Anthony Gatto. by Anthony Gatto. Yeah, I, I don't <laughs> to even be need the to, best three. Be, you to just be the best know three, who it's by. You don't even yeah, have to say. There's there's gonna be like the trailer's just gonna be playing on loop in the corner. Yeah. So like I'm cranking the monkey box and Anthony <laughs> Anthony Gatto's like right right there or something. Because uh, this is, I gotta say, this is really interesting because you're one of the biggest Gatto fanboys that I know, and I'm one yeah. of the biggest Gatto, not haters, but skeptics. Skeptics. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's fake. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think uh, that, like, I can be a Gatto lover and like love, <laughs> love that he like a Gatto lover. Yeah, I'm a Gatto lover. <laughs> You know, like, you can, like, love somebody, but still, like, Let not like what they think. And also, <laughs> you can still not like uh, some of the things they make. Mm. And in this case, I think it's a lot of crazy tricks, but it's also a lot to take in. And one thing it doesn't have that uh, Gumball does is character mm. in really any way. There's a lot of little transitions where he's, like, talking about himself, which are kind of, like, funny. But other than that... It's got. It's just juggling in a racquetball court. It's not. It's not decorated in any way. It's. It's just juggling. It's <laughs> he just gets juggling. A zero for decorations. It's. It's. <laughs> it's just juggling. There's. He's got like some character. In, There's no arc. There's no character development. Nick Gatto's there, so there is some character development. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but you know, it's. I would just. I would put it at maybe. Ah, man, that's tough. <laughs> I, I'm gonna put it in beats here because, sure, sure. but it's below this. This, uh, right. there's there's a little hierarchy in each tier right. where like the closer it is to the letter is the more. Yeah, yeah. So I I'd, I'd put higher, it. Right I'm putting it. Yeah, I want to put it behind Gumball. Sweet. Um. Let's see. Ooh, ooh, ooh. ooh. Do you see one? There's. It's, do you recognize one? Yeah, I recognize Baston and Heptad Fake Sports. Solway, let's Devil's Dick video. We should do a non-Peden one next. Expectations. <laughs> Expect. I don't know what that one is. That's that's West Peden. Oh, okay. That was that was a, that was a joke. Oh. Um, you know joke. this. Um, oh, it was his first one. What? This it was, was his first ever movie. Well, film. there is another one. Well, there's. I think there's two other ones. There's Peden the Sweden, which yeah. is old. That's like old. I don't even think I've seen that. But I think I always think about expectations as like his if he had an album like if he was like a musician this is like his breakout hmm. this is like this is like his, his debut, debut. yeah uh, like he's had other projects before but this is his debuting yeah. project and in terms of like comparing it to all of his other work it's really there's really no question that this is the worst. And it's still amazing. It's good. Yeah, but it's good. Compared to all of his yeah. other, you know, he's a very yeah. prolific filmmaker. So compared to those, it's you at can the bottom. you can see an evolution between like this and like going to Throw Joy. Yeah. You've got like the like pinnacle of like some of these ideas, and yeah. then you have like the base beginning whenever he right. first was trying out all this stuff. Right. And uh, you know, like in terms of just where. I think it goes. I think, in comparison to all of the films on here, I think it goes in D tier. Yeah. Just because it's, like, at the time it was released, it was amazing. Yeah. And then, I wasn't even juggling yet. I yeah. Don't think. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, I I don't know. And he's I wouldn't come even, so far. Yeah. He's I, evolved so much. He's come so far that he's made it probably to every single tier on this list. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and uh, yeah, that's I. I mean, I think that's an achievement. I don't, I don't think it's like bashing on Wes. I think it's just showing like how far he's come as yeah. a artist. If that was his only video to ever be released, it would be solidly B tier. But because it's like in context with all of his other videos, yeah, it's a little that's lower. that's a good point. Yeah, um, Devil Stick video. This one, this one's a wild card. S tier, S tier. I love <laughs> it so much. It's so good. This one, <laughs> this one really shaped a lot of Devil Stickers into doing some like wild stuff mm. 
this kind of like blew the art of devil's dipping yeah this one open. really like really even though like it kind of like shoved under the rug alongside the other ones this yeah. one really pushed a specific group of jugglers into like a different zone that they hadn't been before yeah um and uh i mean there's it's three sections right there's tony pezzo doing actual devil stick stuff but with three (laughs) three hand sticks one devil stick yeah west peden doing not actual devil stick stuff (laughs) with two rings and a devil stick and then some the craziest like ring arm things like that's that's the first time he posted that um and then a duet thing where they just have fun so <laughs> throw some toilet paper around. yeah it's like water on mars the show but like with devil sticks or something yeah um and i think i think that's pretty pretty solidly Ooh, it's really fun and it's really creative i gotta i would say it's a tier really okay Word. i would say it's a tier because you it's one of those things you you forget it exists, but when you remember, you're like, oh my gosh, this was such a big yeah. thing when it came out. Uh, I feel like it kind of hits all the, um, it hits all the marks, is that the same? Yeah. It, it, it does everything that it should do in each of the sections, right? The first section yeah. is very virtuosic and impressive. The second section is very Virtuos. creative and cool. And the yeah. third section is very fun. Yeah. So I feel like it really, it, it's well-rounded in its three sections. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Bastion. Bastion. <laughs> Bastion. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I guess don't. I love Etienne. I have a club signed by him. Uh, Ooh. I, I uh, yeah, it's it's pretty it's pretty much the real deal. So he's he's basically like, I'm basically his biggest fan. But uh, <laughs> he's the only Diablist like who identifies himself as a Diablist on this list. Mm. Like Wes Peden does Diablo, but like not like this you know yeah um it's I, I've, I've never met etienne but everyone i know who has met him said he's the nicest person in the world yeah he's like a sweetheart yeah he's uh i i mean i probably the only person i don't really know in person is jackson ford and everybody else seems like they're like super cool nice people oh yeah most of juggling uh is like a bunch of just like chill weirdos um so probably like d tier <laughs> get wrecked, no, I'm, I'm just kidding. I I I would pr- I would definitely put it above to be the best. That's like my mm. first fir- first thought is it goes above to be the best. Yeah, because he's also like Etienne is like one of his one of the Anthony Gattos of that like group mm. or like he's like one of those technical jugglers who really like blows things out of the water. Right, right. So. Uh, it's he, also, he has a technique going for him. He's yeah. Got... Considering it, considering the fact that it's his debut juggling video also makes it higher for me. Um, just because, yeah. I don't know, compared to yeah. people who have produced a lot of juggling videos, it's very well done for it, his first one. Like, compared to Wes Peden's it, first one, it's like, yeah, it's really impressive. It's, for yeah. Um, and this is, this is my question. Yeah. Right now. I see what you're saying. Yeah, I don't... <laughs> It's 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 tough for me. If I had to say in terms of enjoyment, I'd probably put it. Uh, oh dang, this is tough because there's something really enjoyable about watching somebody's first project. Right, it feels so raw. Yeah, I wish I could just put them side by side. <laughs> you can uh, consider them side by side for now. That's a good point. Yeah. Yeah. So these these two are side by side, yeah. and that is where it's considered today. Um, Fake sports. Action. Oh. Fake sports. Action. Action. Fake sports. Fake sports. Bam. Bam. Fake. They're not real. They don't um, exist. This is one of three of the Tony Pezzo films that we have on here. Um, I personally would put this the lowest of the three. The lowest of the three? So, so of all here, of his. Videos. Of, of his. So. Okay. He's got 11 shot, he's got fake sports, and sure. he's got the third. I think uh, 11 shot, when it came out, was really good. Mm. But also, the third, when it came out, was also really, really, really good. good. And I think... Fake sports, when it came out, I kind of just, like, pooed my pants a little bit, you know? It's boring. No. Just kidding. Uh-huh. No. No. I, I remember when this came out, and he did the little giveaway, and it was, like, really sick. 
but it's like it's also just like it's a little it's on the short end mm. and it's got three three main sections um there's a whole color change section which okay. i don't remember the color change section is really good yeah it's really good the, the net stuff is really really good and then there's kind of the stuff that i forget the most which is the beginning stuff mm. uh with just the rings and he does a lot of like twisty things mm. uh i don't really know how to describe it but he does a lot of twisty things does some twisty stuff yeah um and i think the whole thing it's i mean it's great i think uh i think i'd put it somewhere like in this range mm. if i if if i were to put it somewhere what do you think i feel like it's dope it's a really good film but for me bastone is more um stylized it feels like he comes at juggling with a really specific perspective which is really unique um and and this this Mm. pezzo video is it's more like general you know not in a bad way but it's um yeah i don't know i think i like bastone a little bit more yeah i i mean honestly if i were to say it i would put anthony Cato above this one just because it's it's anthony Gatto juggling in his hardcore and it's like the most raw thing that it's got going for it it like takes that one thing it's got going and just like really pushes it pushes the envelope yeah it's how like, many throws can you throw how many world records can i put in a 70 minute video kind of thing 70 minutes <laughs> okay <laughs> okay throw joy action. throw joy action s tier s tier what do you think? Throw joy. Throw yeah. joy. S tier. Yeah. <laughs> definitely. Definitely really a high up there. I think throw joy is definitely S tier. Yeah. And if nothing else, throw joy should be S tier. Because I remember the day throw joy came out. That was the craziest day of juggling. Because I was watching and I was like, this is insane. And this is so <laughs> fun. And it's, like, so colorful. Yeah. It really pushed a, to a different place that the synthetic video, his previous project, did not go. Mm. Which was, I think, the fun aspect. Mm. Synthetic was, like, kind of, like, muted colors uh, and a lot of research with white clubs and white rings and white balls. And mm. it was fun, and but it, it lacked the real like raw energy that this video had yeah i mean it's in the title right yeah throw joy and also conceptually it's like a full project it's like uh you've got like the tape idea the the creation of new props yeah there's there's a whole concept going for it here whereas like gumball you look at gumball and it's got maybe a couple but it's kind of like a hodgepodge yeah of things within the film you can watch the evolution and the arc the whole of, thing yeah yeah he, he takes you from point a to point b to point c yeah in a elegant and it's, it's a whole way it's a whole like thing yeah you know i i don't think i have much else to say about that i think it's yeah i mean here and if it, if you're gonna watch one of them on this list i would watch yeah throw joy but it does all that while remaining incredibly impressive yeah it does that while remaining like um innovative at the same time which is yeah it's it seems impossible to do like it's uh, done somehow yeah i mean one of my least favorite sections in the whole video however it's still like amazing yeah. is uh the six club section where he's doing like crazy six club multiplexes and stuff and yeah like this is all insane <laughs> he's doing crazy tricks but yeah. you know it's uh like it's not like he's lacking there or anything mm. yeah uh um beautiful plaid plaid have you seen plaid yeah i've seen plaid uh do you have any recollection of plaid this is the one i I probably remember the least i don't remember it great should we watch a trailer for it right now well no i i mean i did i watched a trailer earlier today okay um but like this i'm just saying this is the one this is this i feel like this is a better expectation Mm. that's how i Mm. i feel about this one and like there's still a lot of sections that i'm like yeah this is like 
a lot of like pinching balls everywhere and then like waving one hand mm. and like doing other little tiny manipulations that don't really feel like they they really feel like raw and not quite there yet mm. but then i feel like there's a lot more in plaid that is really groundbreaking than there is in expectations yeah uh, i mean it's clear it's clear which videos he made that happened before school during school and after school yeah because there's just a polish to the ones that he made after school and a, and a rawness to the ones that were before there's yeah. like that there's that um awareness of perception of the audience rather than just like here's this raw concept it's like the, yeah he's just more aware of how it looks and how people will read yeah it. i yeah i mean i would put it in c tier yeah. i don't know what you think i agree okay um this one's kind of cut off so it says ill <laughs> but miller by nathan bix benton you this one, when it came out, was the first time I was like, oh, people other than Tony and Wes make videos. Wow. I was <laughs> wow. like, wow. 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 Um, and uh, I know Nathan, he filmed this while he was at Doc for, like, I think he was only there for, like, a year. Or, like, maybe, like, six months or something. But he filmed this. It's almost all club juggling. Uh, there's a lot of really cool stuff. I haven't yeah, seen it. You haven't seen it, so I guess it's just me. I'm sure it's great. Yeah, I would put it. Uh, it's definitely in the the B tier hodgepodge where everything <laughs> is seeming to end up. Um, I would put it probably next to Bas Bastan. Yeah, probably. Uh, just um, I think uh, as a club project, it's really cool conceptually to see a project that's only clubs and. Uh, Maybe, like, there's, like, a thing with two rings mm. or whatever. I don't even think that's in the main thing. But, yeah, he's a clean juggler. Uh, mm. Clean. Lots of cool stuff. Uh, I think that's all I have to say about that. Sick. This one, I don't know what to do with. The More fun than visiting a zoo. And I didn't, I didn't separate the three, uh, the three volumes of More Fun Than Visiting a Zoo. It's, I'm just treating it as one entity. Uh, and I know that's probably not <laughs> the best thing, but I really don't care. <laughs> um, this, one, this one has the rawness of a Anthony Gatto video in that it's just tricks, 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 mm. tricks. And, like, you know, he did get a black backdrop, so that's something he's got going over <laughs> uh, Anthony, who just... Oh, p p bless him. He's just in a white racquetball court. Just like... <laughs> Kudos to Jay and uh, yeah. Wes for getting a black backdrop. Good yeah. work on that. that <laughs> you really yeah. crushed that. You really crushed it. Good work um, there. I think that's probably... Clearly a research project. It's, yeah. a, it's a research project. I would put it somewhere so, down here, maybe. But, but, but listen, if we're thinking here, about it. Or maybe up here. I don't know. Ooh. <laughs> if we're thinking about it as a standalone juggling film. Yeah. Don't you think that it would rank a little bit lower because it's yeah. It's intended to be a research project and it's not edited I would say and that. formatted to be digestible like a juggling film is? Yeah. I, I think it's either... Uh, it's tough because the juggling is amazing. If it was yeah. purely off the juggling, then it would be a lot, lot higher. Yeah. But I would think just editing also what plays it, a really big role. Yeah, I think it would be somewhere around here. I would put these next to each other, maybe. Yeah. Um, which I think the time zone, the the time period matches up here too. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Is that does that is that agreeable? I think I would move it in front of plaid, but that's I'll, just me. I'll just. I'll just take that because I don't really have an opinion either way. Cool. Okay. Heptad. This one is the one of the only ones on this list that is made to be shot as if it's a full ongoing thing. Live performance. Yeah, yeah. live performance. Um, so this one I didn't even think to put on the list. It was Liam who <laughs> Blame said, me. Well, no. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just, yeah. This one, there are a couple of ed there are like a couple of zoom ins which are nice, like little accents on the body yeah. touches. Like it's like how a routine should be filmed. Yeah, exactly. On video, exactly. But so like, again, it's, amazing juggling. Yeah, revolutionary juggling that 
he said himself, he was like, I don't think... This was never meant to be performed live. This right. is all way too hard for anyone to do <laughs> in one shot, in one performance. I think I messaged him one time. I was like, what would you do if someone paid you $50,000 and they were like, perform Heptad? And then he was like, I just wouldn't be able to do it. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, like the platonic ideal of a one through seven Balls Rings Clubs act. It's good. I would put it, uh, it's it's above Gumball. Really? Would you, I would put it above Gumball. It's, it's a, I would put the juggling above Gumball, but, okay. but the formatting at the bottom of B tier. The bottom of B tier? Yeah, so I don't know. Okay, we got to figure this out then, because <laughs> we have a dispute. Um, I think, uh, ooh, ooh. I don't, it's simple, right? There's beauty in the simplicity. Not everything yeah. has to be maximalist. It's simple, which is rare for Wes Peden's work, and yeah. I don't know if it's rare for... It was clearly designed to be a stage thing. It wasn't designed to be showy or captivating for any other reason and yeah. so it's it it reaches this hypnotic level right it's, where it's this one continuous flow and you kind of lose yourself in it yeah and, and that's it, also really great to watch as yeah it's um it doesn't feel as much like a film that's yeah. that's why i'll say yeah. it doesn't feel like the others and you know i can i can get behind what you're saying i yeah. maybe i'd put it above fake sports word maybe something like that word um Let's say 11 Shot. Haven't seen it. You haven't seen 11 Shot? Um, maybe I have. I don't know. I don't okay. remember. <laughs> 11 Shot. Okay. For... <laughs> okay. Tony Pezzo has a <sighs> mysterious n- film that I can't find anywhere, but there's a trailer for it online. It's before 11 Shot, and it looks like it's just like nuts juggling in like his backyard. <laughs> And that's it. It's like he's just trying to make an Anthony Gatto video, I guess. But <laughs> this was like his first like real video. Mm-hmm. And for a first video, it's got conceptually it's really pushing a lot of things. There's a section for a two ring sequence, a section for a three ring sequence, a section for a four ring sequence, five ring sequence. Uh and then he's got these things with multi multi prop like research like there's a lot of themes going on between the whole thing, mm. uh, you know. It was before fake sports. It was filmed before fake sports. Oh, or way before. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Fake sports is after the third. Right. So uh, fake sports is his most recent. Uh, maybe like if he takes a break from like his music, then he'll like come back and make another thing. I would I would love that, but I would. Uh, I, I'd have to put this at least, at the very least, above Gumball. Mm. I'll have to trust ver- you. Well, you shouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm just going to... You know, yeah. since we have so much in B tier, I'm... Yeah. Yeah, do it. I'm just going to do that. Yeah, Bet. just going to do that. Just see what see what happens. Um, uh, and Fuck it up. Yeah, see what happens. Um, Water on Mars. What are on Mars? You didn't. Did you say you didn't know that this was a show, or like did, that this was a, a film? I'm not sure. I may have seen it. I may have seen like trailers for it. Yeah. I don't think I've seen the whole thing, the whole film. This was initially what it was right. for like a long time, and then it turned into a until a show. yeah until okay. I saw a video of them, and it said like Water on Mars live. Yeah. And then it was like, yeah. It, it has like it's not doesn't have like the fun energy of that yeah. well it does but it doesn't have the same aesthetic sure um and it's filmed all the way through to be one shot mm. but however this one's 40 minutes 40 minutes of that mm. and it's three people uh you've got patrick elmert mm. tony pezzo mm. and west peden mm. all doing great stuff uh i would great stuff great guys you know Wherever we put synthetic, I would want to put this, like, near it. I just don't know where, you know? Yeah. Maybe, uh, I don't know. What Do you have any possible thoughts? I've only seen the You've only trailer. seen the trailer. I know that the juggling is cool. I know that it was... I... 
I feel that what you're talking about with the miss like zoning out because it's one continuous thing. I feel it's that zoning in. What? I was talking about like it reaches a place where it's hypnotic in a good way, okay. where like you're so hyper focused okay. on it that like you can't look away, not because it's flashy, but because it's like well planned. Okay, well then in this case, I think this is <laughs> I think this does the opposite at some certain point where it's like I've been watching the same possible sequence, gotcha. but it's so well filmed and so yeah. cleanly done, and all three there's like technique where like all three of them are like qualifying seven clubs next to each other. It's like it's got really anything you could ask for. Sure. Okay. Um, I I would put it. I would put it. I there's so many things I'm like. There's so many things in I've front of it. Gumball. <laughs> it's like oh, at least in front of Gumball. It's like we could also move Gumball yeah. back in B tier if we want. Yeah, I move think it further down in B tier. Uh. Uh. uh, uh. I think maybe ooh no I don't want to <laughs> there I'm there okay. that's what that's where I think it should go cool uh, I like how it's making this <laughs> uh, it's like got the center is like really uh, like it's I like mean, symmetrical the... it's symmetrical it's yeah. what it should be yeah uh, it's like the the, yeah. the skill curve right skill curve um, very few people are yeah. make content that's at the top and very few people make content that's at the bottom solway um solway yeah. as this is probably my favorite first ever project yeah. by somebody this yeah. is done by jackson ford yeah um if i were going to put it somewhere as a first project it's pretty amazing yeah that like some of the ideas that he has yeah um I would put it m- 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 maybe just right next to next to eleven shot. Yeah, something like that. Definitely. Yeah, I I don't think I have anything else to say Definitely. about that. I mean, it lacks uh, it lacks the polish that. Uh, it's almost like an aesthetic, though. Like out of like, all yeah, of these, like he, he pushes that. Yeah, yeah. That's like super true. Like uh, he he almost like pushes that. Oh, this is gonna be four eighty p. <laughs> and that's like the point. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Which cool. I mean like I can roll with it. Like it's probably like one of the least polished on the whole thing. It's probably like the quality of like some of the C tier ones. Yeah. But it has the quality behind yeah. it and like the purpose and the intention that those ones didn't yeah. in that respect. It's clearly an evolution from plaid from these yeah. these earlier, you know, m- mid 2020 20, 2010s early yeah. 2000 ideas it's definitely an evolution from that and it's really exciting to watch how the the juggling meta is changing down to the wire down i would the wire i'd put the third the third uh <laughs> the third oh uh, uh, i mean it's harder once things can actually like end up up here because yeah. then i'm like oh well is that above that or yeah um, we can also rearrange after we've put everything in. Yeah, but I mean, I think it seems fair. It's just I have to like think about this. Yeah, I would, I would, I would put the third in front of the Devil Stick video just based on the impact it seemed to have. Mm. And personally, or in the community? In the community, like Where'd... it seemed like. Uh, there was a point where it was throw joy in the third just both came out right and people were like there was like these like weird comment rants for a little bit that i saw that were like oh the third is better oh no throw joy is better <laughs> the third is better yeah but like i think you know they both have a similar vibe of like energetic craziness but uh tony's video has a bit more of a serious vibe behind it mm. than uh much more so than wes's video has right uh throw joy in the third yeah and i th- would think that uh throw joy there's not really anything i would take out of it whereas in the third there's like a couple things where i'm like i might possibly skip through mm. like sequences mm. 
or uh, like maybe like the opening sequence with the ball ring in a club. Yeah. That I don't know. Yeah. When's the last time you saw that? Mm. Uh, but there's things that I feel like drag a little bit long sure. in this one. Sure. Where uh, it shouldn't. But I think overall it's the best, the longest best thing that he has going for him. Yeah, for sure. Uh, and uh, synthetic. 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 <laughs> synthetic. Where are you gonna go, synthetic? I mean, where I want to put it, and where I think, <laughs> where I think it belongs, where I, th- it belongs to either here or here to me. But I don't know what you think. Can we watch the trailer real quick? <laughs> Definitely has more of that serious quality that you were talking about. Yeah. Um, like the third. Um, I wait. Where did I put it? Oh yeah. But definitely, you know, the reason it's not in front of Throw Joy is because it, yeah, it is, um, it is more researchy, right? It's less of yeah. a performance and more of a video for jugglers cataloging his time at yeah. school. Yeah, and uh, honestly, like, I, I still, I stand by. I think this is like his first, like, good one. Mm. His first, like, actually good transcendent <laughs> yeah like like juggling videos typically aren't filmed the best and they aren't like like this is like something i could show to a non-juggler and they'd think it's pretty sick right but would they watch the whole thing well no because they're not a juggler <laughs> Ooh, it hurts <laughs> so it hurts so good <laughs> you know if i don't know it all seems to fit well together um if you have differing opinions on where you would put things feel free to leave them below make your own tier list make your own tier list send it to us send or, in. or like maybe dislike this video if you just like <laughs> if you're like really against what i said or what he said <laughs> yeah then feel free to dislike Let's or democracy democracy or like <laughs> subscribe like whatever you want to do yeah and, send us uh, videos that we didn't mention if yeah you see them next tier list yeah, and uh, I'd love to do another video talking about shorter projects, not these, like, longer, longer projects, but, like, shorter ones in particular. Mm. Um, and if you have any ideas for types of tier lists you want me to do, feel free to leave them below. Woo! Cool. I think that's it. Dope. Cool. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more of what I do, feel free to subscribe. Also, if you're interested in supporting me and getting exclusive video content along the way, check out my Patreon. I just released Dr. Pop, a Patreon exclusive. It's 18 minutes of new juggling for me this year. Definitely worth checking out. Link in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day.